Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael and you're watching IDB. In this video, I'm showing you over 20 tips and tricks for Apple Music. So as it stands right now, Apple Music is the most popular streaming service in the world, and it's even available on Android phones. So if you are a subscriber to Apple Music, hopefully you can learn something new in this video. Let's go ahead and jump in right now. So we're gonna get things started inside of settings. If we scroll down to music, the first thing I'd recommend turning on is called automatic downloads. So as soon as you add a song or an album into your library, it's going to get downloaded automatically. I find this useful because sometimes I'm driving on a back road and I lose service. And if I were streaming Apple Music, I wouldn't be able to get my music because it needs the internet. So it's nice that whenever I add a song or an album into my library, it gets downloaded automatically. So this is a toggle I turn on immediately every time I get a new phone. Next up inside of here is audio quality. Now Apple Music supports what's called lossless audio and underneath it it says lossless files preserve every detail of the original audio. Just keep in mind that when you turn this on it is going to take up more space on your phone if you download in lossless and if you stream on lossless it is going to use a lot more of your data as well. As you can see, when you turn this on, it doesn't turn lossless on for cellular just because as I said, it is going to use a lot of data. Personally, I can't see that much of a difference between the normal high quality audio and lossless, but if you are an audiophile and you listen to every single detail in your song, it is nice that you have the option for lossless in Apple Music. So next up, and possibly my favorite inside of all of these settings, is EQ. So this is a really underrated feature and not that many people take advantage of the EQ settings on Apple Music. So for me, I listen to a lot of rock music and metal music and whenever I set the rock EQ, I find that my music sounds a lot better. So I'd recommend going through this and picking which EQ sounds better and you can actually change the EQ while music is actually playing. So you can check each one as your song is playing and you can pick whichever one sounds the best to you. And the final thing I wanna show you inside of settings is under Dolby Atmos. And if you turn this on, this is what enables spatial audio if you have a pair of AirPods or supported Beats headphones. So when you have this turned on, it's a pretty cool effect. It tries to mimic the effect as if you are in the room that the music is being played in. And the best way I can describe it is it adds a lot more separation to all of the instruments. So again, if you have a pair of supported headphones, I'd recommend trying out Dolby Atmos and Spatial Audio as it can make the experience a lot better. Now we're gonna jump inside of the application itself. And the first thing I wanna show you is some of the sorting options. So this edit button on the top right often goes overlooked, but this allows you to change what tabs you see when you first launch Apple Music. So for me, I like to see my playlists, artists, albums, and songs, but someone, for example, may wanna see their different genres of music. So if you check this and then click done, you can now see your genres of music right here. So I'd recommend clicking edit and choosing what tabs are important to you. That way you can access them really quickly when you launch the application. And another option for sorting your music is under the songs list. So when you go to your songs list, there's a button on the top right that says sort. And by default, when you first get your iPhone, it's going to be sorting your songs by artist. And this doesn't really make sense to me. I like to see my songs in alphabetical order. So you can change this to title if you want to. And you also now have the option to sort by recently added as well. And next up, I wanna show you all the options we have in terms of lyrics in Apple Music. First up, when you're in the Now Playing screen, you can click the icon on the bottom left corner and you can get time-synced lyrics. So you can see it's going along with the song and it's showing the lyrics in real time. You can also scroll through this list and jump to a specific point in the song if you want to. You can see the scrubber changed as I did that. And you can also view the lyrics for a song without playing the song. So if I jump to my songs list and press and hold on one right here, we have the option to view the full lyrics. And without playing the song, you can view just the plain text of the lyrics for that song. And you can also choose to share lyrics in Apple Music, which is pretty cool. So again, if you press and hold on the song, you can click on share lyrics and you can choose to share all of the lyrics or you can just check the lyrics that you wanna share. So if I wanna share these three lines, for example, all I have to do is check them like this and then I can choose who I wanna share them with down below. And we also do have a few other options for when you press and hold on a song. The first one is revealing the entire album that a song comes from. 
So if you have a song in your list and you wanna see the entire album, all you have to do is press and hold on it and click on show album. And it's gonna show all of the songs you have from that album that are in your library. And if you wanna see all of the songs within Apple Music, all you have to do is scroll down and click on show complete album. And another feature that I use all the time is creating a station off of one song. So this is kind of similar to the genius feature back in the day from iTunes. If I press and hold on a song and click the button at the bottom that says create station, Apple Music is going to intelligently create a station based off of that first song. So it's gonna use things like the tempo of the music, the genre of the music. And if I scroll through this list, you can see it's gonna be playing songs that are similar to that first song. And we also do have a couple really useful options for when you swipe on your songs. So if you swipe from left to right, you can see we have some controls here. If you click the purple button, it's going to play it right after the song that's currently playing. And if you click on the orange button, it's going to play that song last. And also just as you would expect in iOS, if you swipe from right to left, you have the option to delete a song as well. Next up, I wanna show you some features for your playlists. The first one is adding an image to a playlist. So this doesn't really do anything, it just kind of makes your playlists look a little bit better when you're browsing through them. To add an image, all you have to do is click on the menu button on the top right, click on edit, and then you can click on the photo icon right here. You can choose to take a photo or choose a photo from your library. And another option for playlists, and this is new in iOS 16, is now the option to sort your playlists. So again, click on the menu icon on the top right, and you can see we now have this new option in iOS 16 called Sort By. And you can choose to sort your playlist by title, artist, album, or release date. This is a really nice feature because previously in iOS 15, you could only listen to your playlist in the order that you added the songs. So now you can actually choose to have a custom sort order for your playlists. The next feature I wanna show you is under the search tab, and this is one that I use quite a bit in Apple Music. So you can actually search just based on mood of the music you wanna to listen to. So for example, if I wanna to listen to some calming music, all I have to do is type in the word calm, and Apple Music is going to pull out a bunch of playlists that are in that category. So let's try one more. Let's search for, let's say, some happy music. Let's see what Apple Music comes up with. So it comes up with a bunch of feel good playlists and feeling happy playlists. So whatever mood that you're feeling in, all you have to do is type that into Apple Music and you're gonna get some relevant results. The next feature I would really recommend you try out is under the Listen Now section and it's the new music mix. So this is updated every single day and it's based on music that you have listened to recently. And I don't know what algorithm Apple is using, but this is a really good playlist every single time I listen to it. So Apple does a really good job at understanding what types of music you like to listen to. So if I were you, I would highly recommend checking out your new music mix as Apple Music usually has a whole bunch of fantastic recommendations. The next feature is discovering new music based on the top charts. So I remember back in the day of iTunes, you may remember this as well, but back in that day, the number one way of finding new music was based on the top charts. And ever since Apple Music and streaming services came out, that has kind of switched. And now the main way that people discover new music is with these personalized playlists as I showed you previously. However, it still can be fun to browse the top charts and see what is trending globally. So to view the top charts in Apple Music, it is kind of hidden. You wanna click on the Browse tab, scroll all the way down where it says More Ways to Explore, and then you can click on the charts right here. So this is kind of a nice way to browse Apple Music and see what is trending around the world. And the final feature I wanna show you in the actual application itself is live radio streaming. So Apple Music supports radio stations that are a part of the iHeartRadio brand. And for me, I listen to a radio station in my local area. It's a rock station called The Bear. And whenever I'm in my car, I can actually tune in to the actual FM frequency. However, this comes in handy whenever I'm traveling and I still want to listen to my favorite radio station. So if you have a favorite station you listen to all the time, I'd recommend searching for it in Apple Music as it may be supported by iHeartRadio. And the final feature I wanna show you, this is new in iOS 16. Whenever you're playing a song and you're on your lock screen, if you press on the album art of the song, you can see you get a really nice full screen player. And the wallpaper is also gonna to change to match the album art. So hopefully now after watching this video, you are now a pro at using Apple Music. Let me know in the comments your favorite tip that I gave you in this video. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please drop a like on it as it does help us out quite a bit. 
My name is Michael with IDB. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.